was talking to some of the people on your staff, it's like, hey, we're about to go to the next level. And that kind of caught my attention because that's the name of my nonprofit. You know, that I got this team that I travel with, Next Level Living. But let me tell you something, the next level can be scary. The next level can be frustrating. I see some of you shaking your heads. I get it. You're, you're thinking like, I don't know. I, you know, I was just fine with the paper notes, with the email, and eh, I licked the stamp. I was just good with writing stuff up and paper to paper, handshake to handshake. You want contracts? You want PDF? You want export, import, Excel, Microsoft Word? I heard somebody gave one of the answers. They was like, I got it. Microsoft Google or Google. I was like, no, it's not Google Word. It's not. It's not Google Word. Mr. Anderson's speech today was passionate. It was substantive. It had depth. It really will help take us to that next level where we need to go. It was what we needed. People felt appreciated. People felt moved. He went to our hearts. He took us there. He engaged our hearts. He engaged our minds. Man, New York City. Every time I come to the city, I get excited because New York has its own spirit, its own vibe, and I feel like I get charged up every time I come to the city for a speaking engagement. I'm here to work with a company called URI, which is Urban Resource Institute, and uh, they're having their annual training slash conference, and it's about 250 employees that I'll be speaking to today. So I plan on inspiring them and motivating them and empowering them to take them and their craft to the next level. We're so fortunate today to have Jeremy Anderson to come to us. You know, Jeremy is a motivational speaker. He's been all over the world. He's written many books. Uh, but with all that, let me tell you, he was able to deliver that message. I myself, as the CEO, of giving speeches and talks. I've heard many people do the same, but listening to Jeremy today, I really think he was able to inspire individuals. So after the day is over, that they just don't leave with just what happened with the day, but they empowered with that message to be able to understand it and to act way beyond the end of the day. But what we have to do is we have to get past ourselves. A lot of times, it be us. You got that little good guy on your shoulder, and you got that little bad guy. You know that bad guy be saying, oh, here they come with that computer talk, data this, data that. I got their data. You better tell that little person to be quiet. Some of you, in this season in your life, you're going to have to go back to your office. You're going to have to look at that picture of Sarah that you might have up on your wall. So the next time they come and say, okay, your computer came in, okay, let's talk about this, and you feel like, oh, you think about that person and think how many more Sarahs are out there? How many more Patricks are out there? How many more people you're going to be able to effectively work with to change their life? You're life changers. I just got finished listening to Jeremy Anderson speak, and the speech was amazing. So this whole training, this spent money. Having you here, feeding you, having these workshops, tablets, they're trying to build the morale. They're trying to get you excited. I'm trying to empower you to let you know that the change is going to happen inside this country, inside New York. The change that's coming is going to happen when change takes place inside of you. The thing that really stood out to me most, he really called everybody forward. Um, he asked us, how comfortable are we willing to be with being uncomfortable? How are we going to be our best selves? What are we going to do to go to the next level? And you've been giving, you've been serving for years. I commend you, salute, I applaud you, but there is another level that you're about to go to. And you can only get to that level when you're desperate because desperation brings your elevation. That's my time. You guys take care. God bless. I could have this speech all over again. If I could have him speak even longer, I would for a minute. It was terrific.